Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we have something new for you. We're gonna fix an iPhone XS with a broken back glass and we're gonna shoot some lasers. So this is an iPhone XS from a client who d doesn't really like the broken back glass on this one. So this is a weird case wherein the front display is okay, but the back glass is partially shattered. So we're gonna replace only the back glass. So this time David is gonna remove this front display carefully since we're gonna reuse this in our reassembly later on. So just like other iPhones, you remove two screws at the bottom and you pry it off. There are some adhesives from the factory to maintain the waterproofness of the device. So we're just going to cut it off right here. And primarily the front display is held on by the, the clips that you can see on the sides. So we're going to slowly pry it open since the display has a lot of flex cables attached to the main board of the device. You can see the L-shaped uh, battery and you can also see a lot of covers or clasps that retains all the flat cables or flex cables of the front display. So we're going to remove them all and put it away for now. And we're gonna re disassemble the entire device. So why is that so? We're gonna show you later on. So this is a typical uh, disassembly process for iPhone tennis. So all the components that we are gonna remove from this smartphone will all be reassembled later on. So I know this is tedious works, but because we have a different process for removing the back glass of this iPhone compared to other uh, iPhone models that we have fixed before in the shop. So these are heat resistant tapes. We're just going to cover the front portion of this smartphone to prevent dust and of course parts of glass that we're going to remove later on. So this is our laser machine. What this will do is it's gonna focus a beam of laser on the back glass. Because the back glass of an iPhone tennis is held on by adhesives, which we can't really pry off easily. And when you go to Apple, they're gonna charge you with like $600 just to replace the back glass of your iPhone tennis. We're going to do this uh, more economical and sustainable. So as you can see, we're going to speed it up uh, for the sake of brevity in this video. But you can see the laser etching, uh, pulverizing away the adhesives below the glass. So this is perfect for those who have like slight cracks on the glass. But if you have a lot of cracks on your back glass, the laser will tend to be refracted or reflected in other parts of the of the smartphone. So do we recommend that you DIY this one and then just hope that you can make it, uh, you can replace your own back glass? No, this is just for the professionals. And even if you have this machine, you still need some training and of course a well ventilated area. And as you can see on the left side, we have a uh, suction for the air because the fumes that are generated by heating the adhesives and and then it will be uh, toxic for you if you inhale it. So the laser is slowly but surely uh, pulverizing the adhesives. The template for the iPhone XS it can also be encoded on the machine so that it will skip over the camera and the charging pad for the wireless charging. So right here, it's done. 
and David will remove this one of course with proper protection and proper protocol so this is almost done we're gonna go to the next step so the next step is actually removing the glass as you can see here you see those squiggly lines those are the adhesives that has been pulverized by the laser but the the fact of the matter is we still have to scrape off the glass off of the main housing so right here we're gonna dump it over to the bin slowly but surely but this time although you find it hard to believe that it's this is actually the easier way because if the adhesives are still active or not pulverized you will have a lot of uh, hard time scraping off the glass of this iPhone XS so basically if you, ha you want to replace the back glass of your iPhone XS you have to just break it apart just to remove it from the main housing so this is kind of like a very good design for Apple but in terms of repairability now at least we have a laser machine to default onto or you can just give it back to Apple and just pay 600 US dollars so it's pretty steep just for this repair but here in Sydney CBD repair center we can do that uh, we can do it below 100 and that's not US dollars that's Australian dollars so think about it do you really want to DIY your iPhone 10 S repair or just head out to Sydney CBD repair center and at least save a lot of money just pay a fraction of the price and get the same results so right now we're just gonna blow off some particles and we'll head out we'll head back to our workspace and now we're back on our bench we're gonna proceed now with a reassembly of this iPhone XS although this is not really a good uh, surface now this kind of scratched up but that's what we get when we uh, get thorough about, about our repair but once we replace it with this replacement back glass now you can see the point of all those steps that we have taken so back to the reassembly we're just gonna reverse all that we did so all the components the batteries the camera the vibrator vibration motors uh, the motherboard all comes back to the main housing so the reassembly process although pretty complicated at least it's Apple has made it easier for us to replace or at least remove the components but in this case we don't have really any problem uh, with the compatibility of the products uh, of the components because we are just uh, putting it back together so this one the battery and then we're gonna for the first time ever we're gonna uh, put back the old uh, front display because that's not really damaged so think about it if you want to uh, scrap your smartphone just because you have a pretty uh, messed up back glass then that's not really environmentally friendly and financially responsible so this time we're just gonna take out the bad component and just replace it so we're gonna put back the display for good now since we have tested all the components the camera the charging uh, the buttons all seems to be working good and here we put on our new adhesives on the sides just to make sure that some that the replacement backlash will adhere to the surface and of course like maintain uh, a level of waterproofness although we can't really guarantee that it will be the same as with the factory so we're just gonna put a lot of it, uh, adhesives on this bad boy except for the charging pad 
this copper is for the wireless charging so we steer away from those just like what the laser did and then here it is no one will ever know that you have an iPhone uh, 10s fixed from a repair shop because it's it looks bloody brand new so next step is we're just gonna let the adhesive cure we have these mini clamps that we install on all sides as much as possible and then leave it for quite some time to let the uh, glue cure and dry so if you have an iPhone 10s, 10R or even 10 that needs a uh, back glass replacement if you are okay with the messed up back glass that's okay but if you want to refresh your iPhone 10s and you have no warranty from Apple and you don't want to pay the exorbitant cost of replacing the back glass then contact Sydney CBD or personal if we have some uh, stocks for your specific iPhone models we'll do it for you uh, you just have to wait for the <laughs> repair it's not really gonna take a lot of time and you also get freebies like this temper glass who knows you will need this if one day you'll drop your smartphone at least the temper glass will uh, absorb some of the impact and this one too this is just a plastic cover If you don't want this, you can just opt out. But you know, David wants to give out free stuff all the time. Then there it is. So thanks for joining, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and learned something new. Until next time, cheers.